Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sort by multiple keys. In the last video, I showed you how to sort by one key. Basically, sorting by one key is quite simple. You just click anywhere in that, uh, in that column you wish to sort, and you have your two buttons, ascending and descending, and uh, that was it. Now, if I want to sort by multiple keys, now, first of all, what, what does it mean, sorting by multiple keys? Well, let me sort, uh, for instance, my models, ascending. So, as you see, I have multiple Aguilas, multiple Amperas, many Astras, etc. Now, what do I do when I have the same item? Well, then I would need a second key. Basically, let's say the variants. Then I would sort them by the variants. You see, it's, you have the same problem in a telephone book. You have, uh, for example, many Smiths. Now, how are those Smiths sorted among themselves? Well, by the first name. And if you have many John Smiths, well, they might get sorted by, I don't know, the middle name or by their address and so on. So basically, when you have a lot of data, which, or let's say a lot of data in one column is very similar, then you need a second key to sort that similar data, you know, among itself and so on. And the more similar your data is, the more keys you need. I mean, here is quite obvious. You have many opals, many astras, so basically, I need at least three keys. One is for the manufacturers, and then the many opals, they have to be sorted by the models. And as you see, I have many asters here, for example. Well, I need a third key, basically maybe the variant. And even, and even if I have many uh, similar variants, then I might have to go uh, with the price, and so on. Let me just put that, yeah, better. Okay, so that's 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 why we need multiple keys. When the data when the when the data in one column is identical or, or, or very similar, then I need a second key to have those similarities uh, sorted out between themselves and so on. I mean, just think of a telephone book. Now, how do I implement sorting by multiple keys? Well, those buttons are not going to work anymore. I have to go in data. And you have the uh, sort uh, menu, and then in that I have three options. You see, so I can start. Which which uh, key do I want to have first? Well, I'll take manufacturer. That's the first key, and I'll take it ascending. What's the second key? Well, I'll have model and ascending as well. And now I'll have variance as my third key and ascending as well. And there you go. And you see now, with my third key, a fourth one um, come, turns up, and I can add as many keys as I want. Okay? And let's go. Okay? And there you go. Now, you see, I've got the manufacturers are sorted among themselves. The Ford F is before O. So, and the Fords among themselves, they are then sorted by model. So, you got B Max, and then C Max, and then Fiesta, etc. And those B Maxes, are sorted among themselves by first the A, then the T, and then T. All right, so that's the way. And you can add as many keys as you want. Uh, now here, if I if if I added a fourth key, that fourth key would have no relevance because I have no two variants with the same name. Oh yes, here I do. You see, so there here a fourth key would play a role, but here it would completely play no role. You see, so here I would need a fourth key because I've got the same manufacturer, same model, same variant, well, the same price, so I have to use the doors uh, as, my, as my fourth key or my fifth key in order to differentiate between these two. And you see here, that's why we need multiple keys. Now, this interface here, data sort, this is the LibreOffice or OpenOffice and the old Excel uh, interface, I think up till Excel 2003, if I'm not mistaken. The newer Excel interface looks a bit different. Uh, this is now the German version of it, but you know, your, your uh, international or English version should look the same. And basically, you've got the sort menu here. Here's, you, here's where you sort, you know, by one key. And this here, it's, I think it's called custom sorting in English. You click on it and, oh, you see, I made a mistake here. I have, you have to click in the data, in the data itself, and then call that menu. And you see here, it's basically the same thing. You pick your first level, manufacturer, and then you must add another level, if you wish. And there's your model, 
A to Z or Z to A means ascending or descending. And then you add another one, which is basically the variance. Same thing. And you can add another one, which is basically your start price. And you can add another one, which is basically your doors and so on. And then you sort. Okay. And it's sorted. So you see here the, the fiestas now have been sorted ascending by their number of doors. Okay. So that's the way sorting works. It's basically the same in Excel or open office. So just, just the buttons are different here in Excel in the newer version, I think uh, to, uh, from 2007 and onwards, it's, it's like that here and in the older versions of Excel and the current open and LibreOffice versions, you have it as a menu uh, in, in, as a point in, in the data menu. Okay. And like I said, you can sort, you can add as many keys as you wish. And uh, like I said, it's like the keys you need are determined by the data you have. Like in this data here, it's obvious that I need at least three or four keys to differentiate between those, um, those cards. Now, if I have very simple data or data which, uh, which doesn't have any identical entities in, in one single column, then, then one key is more than enough.